Okay, Crosley. Squeaky. One squeaky Crosley we got. So we have to take that top off. Take these screws off here and here. Take this front off. Screws there. There. Pull this hole out and get in there and lube it up. Okay, got that part off. There was a little bit of lint in there, no big deal. I clean okay. I clean that out. Okay. Um I met your guy neighbor over there. Yeah. Asked me what I was doing and uh Okay, so this has a main bearing right there in the center. Like here. You don't mess with this on this side. You can see that black sit there. Black sit on there. Indicates where. And what happens is these things get stuck. And so what you can try and do just wedge something in here. Make sure the belt is disconnected first. Wedge something in here. Push up and see if you can get it loose. And put your knee here. And uh, push down and try and pry it. But this one, this one's, this one's really stuck. I might have to get a, a one by two or something and stick it in there and wedge it to get it out. If you have two people, it might be easy, but uh, yeah, you just need a good wedge to stick in there to pry it up, or possibly pry it up from the bottom. Uh, but it's got to come up and then out. Okay, so this one still has a good uh, what would you call it? Kind of a support bushing bearing, support knuckle. Anyway, you can see it's pretty dry in there. What happens is when these things wear out, this one should be replaced. When they wear out, then this metal housing rubs on that, and it starts to squeak. You look at it, you can see there's a little bit of wear on it, on the inside part right here, where that thing's rubbed and started to squeak. So, yeah, this one's pretty much gone soft. Uh, you can see the center. The center has moved, the center, whatever, uh, wear action has moved down. That, the wear action, that circle thing should be in the center of that ball bearing. And there is a ball bearing in there. There's a little ball bearing that holds it in place. So what you can do is, you take a little piece of Teflon, some similar material, and stuff it down in that hole, and epoxy it in for a quick fix. Okay, so what I did is I cut some of this. This is actually that fireproof plastic stuff on top of the water pump down there. I cut a little piece off of it, kind of that rounded piece. Stuck it in there and glued the edges with E6000. And then I took the hot glue and then I hot glued it in there. So I built that up quite a bit, and then I stuck grease on it. I'm also going to put some graphite on it. I wrapped Teflon tape around that as well, and, I'm gonna, and that's been greased as well. And we're going to put it back together, and that will, that will suffice for a few days until we can get the new part in. And we're going to lube that idler as well. Drop oil always is nice for the, these things. And maybe dust it out a little bit, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I give phone advice for $35, 707-443-8347.
And it's Mr. Maintain at Hotmail.com. M-R-M-A-I-N-T-A-I-N at Hotmail.